Well, so we had a number of meetings, uh, both with the public sector and within the private sector, on how we can actually continue the journey, which we talked about last year, in moving impact investment from being a niche area to mainstreaming it. And I think one of the areas where we had very good engagement in the official sector, and we made some announcements in Bali, was really about, you know, with, uh, of course, our friends here from the IFC and others, to really start with defining what it is, the, basically the structure and the definitions and how we can really, you know, prevent this market from being misused as it's in its infancy still. And so we need very clear definitions, very clear understanding of what impact investment is and what impact investment is not. And I think for the industry, this should end in a voluntary set of rules to which the industry adheres so that we can avoid mislabeling. And I think the official sector will play a very key role in developing from the start the branding of these type of impact investing uh, products. And financial firms like Rob's and mine, we're very happy to work with the official sector in developing that market and mainstreaming it. To summarise, it sounds like baby steps is what's transpired over the past year. No, actually, very important foundations. I think before you can develop a market and move it to a more deeper, more liquid market, you have to define the market infrastructure. You have to do the financial plumbing before you actually will see any flows through these pipelines.